ivory coast. I've done it. I'll speak to you later, female. There are plenty of very weird flag world records. Some officially recognised like the guy with the most flags tattooed on his body, and others less official like this world record of the longest time balancing a Welsh car flag on an index finger. This week on the flagship, I'm proving my mettle as a vexillologist and flag autistic by going for the quickest time to identify all national flags. Did you hear all that? Vexillology is the study of flags, you philistine. Flagship. Flagship, 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 it's not flagship. The official record is achieved through typing, and the record holder is Sashi Varsha Karthikeyan. And the record holder is Sashi Varsha Karthikeyan with a time of 3 minutes and 44 seconds. What do the comments of this record consist of, you ask? Well, it's Facebook mums flexing about how smart their children are. Disappointed this is done by typing? My 10 year old My can't type old yet, son, but can I find type it? I can't Shut up, losers. For the next two days, I'm going to spend every waking hour trying to beat this record. This may also include improving my touch typing and learning how to spell Kyrgyzstan first time. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Attempt number one. Um, it's worth noting that all the world records were done in very warm countries, and I'm currently doing it in the UK during a cost of living crisis. So I'm shaking all over the place. <laughs> Fuck. Now I know a bit about flags, which you'd know if you were a regular on the flagship, but I would need to go at a pace of 53 countries per minute which is insane. The floodgates had opened and the mistakes started pouring in. Oh, I swear to God, if, if Indonesia gets me one more time, I swear to God, this fucking touch typing. Sit up straight, keep your back straight, keep your elbows bent at the right angle. Face the screen with your head slightly tilted forward. Keep at least 45 to 70 centimeters of distance between your eyes and the, and the screen. My times started to tumble. I didn't even hit record for fuck's sake. Oh, sub seven, sub seven. <laughs> Ooh. Get in. But quickly plateaued. Seven minutes. Hmm. This time isn't coming down anytime soon. <laughs> oh no, I'm off the pace, I'm off the pace. I've lost it. It's clear by now my weakness is in the typing. And I didn't think it was going to improve, so instead of digging deep on this futile endeavour, I found the record for verbally identifying the countries, and it was set by a child. Interestingly, all the flags are in alphabetical order, so all you really need to do is memorise the alphabetical order and then recite them quicker than a child. I could hire a SoundCloud Eminem fan and get him to wrap them out very quickly while looking at pictures of flags and hey presto, we've got the world record. But I couldn't be asked to compile all the flags in alphabetical order, so I'm doing it like a true champion. Randomly. Poland, Ukraine, Spain, Vanuatu, Latvia, Libya, Taiwan, Philippines, South Korea, Guinea-Bissau, Solomon Islands, Bolivia, Georgia, I remember in sixth form I wanted extra time in the tests and the test I make you do is reciting numbers as, as quickly as you see them. I bullshitted the test by doing it slightly worse than I would have done and they told me I was in the lowest 2.5% of brain processing speeds. Bahamas, Iraq, the too near, I'm gonna start this again. It's not the thinking, I'm very good at the thinking part. It's just the speed of the processing, which could be related to my ADHD. Argentina, Sri Lanka, Panama, Bolivia, Guess fucking Ghana, but I just need one perfect run. Or so I thought. Thailand, Tuvalu, Jamaica, USA, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, Brunei, Panama. Quickly, I began to find my flow. Burkina Faso, Singapore, Ghana, Bahamas. <laughs> I'd beaten him convincingly on the first try, but I knew I could go faster. And more importantly, I knew others could go faster. Bahamas, Algeria, C Qatar, Nauru, Cape Verde, Honduras. Burkina Faso, Mauritania, Somalia, Kyrgyzstan, St. Kitts and Nevis. 
I was also very gracious in my victory. You're a child. You're not in the big leagues. But as day two came to an end, I became more and more fatigued. Peru, Denmark, Nicaragua, Jordan, South Korea, Sikhita, Nevis, Mozambique, Palau, Nepal, Bolivia, Bulgaria, <laughs> Mauritania, Seychelles, Benin, Bhutan, Palau, Tonga, Zambia, Zambia Ivory Coast. Fuck, I'm stuck on the same time again. And with my final run, I pulled out the best time. Guinea-Bissau, Djibouti, Albania, Pakistan. Sub, sub two, sub 220, sub 220. But in my victory, I made a terrifying discovery. I stumbled across this video of another record attempt. <laughs> oh, bollocks. But he abbreviated the country, so he's a fraud. <laughs> Why are you calling him C-A-R? You don't know him like that. It's Central African Republic to you, buddy. This video isn't just meant to be me being bitter at kids for five minutes. Well done to the kid. I hope you're very happy with yourself. The past two days had seen me take my rightful place at the top. Now where's my Welsh car flag? Flagship, 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 it's the flagship, 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 flagship.